what neighborhoods in Cleveland are going to see the biggest rise in housing prices for investors? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show, folks. I am James Wise. I help investors like you invest in Cleveland real estate. Today, I'm working with my man, Chris. Chris, you're a California investor. You're looking, you're looking, brother. You're looking for some cash flow real estate. You like those multifamily properties. Another thing you like is the Metro Health area. You like the Metro Health area quite a bit. I like the Metro Health area quite a bit, right? In my opinion, I think this area is going to see the most appreciation. It's not technically called the Metro Health area, by the way. People refer to it as like the near west side, Clark Fulton area, the whole inner west side of Cleveland. I call it the Metro Health area because Metro Health is a very big place that's juicing a bunch of money into this place. And I think it's going to help out neighborhoods like this, right? So what I want to talk to you today, what I want to talk to you about today, Chris, is a property that I think is going to be great for you because it's multifamily, cash flows like a beast, and it's in a neighborhood that I think is going to gentrify, I think is going to see a huge rise in prices. And I'm going to explain why. I'm going to explain why. So for everybody out there that's watching, you're trying to figure out how can I tell if a neighborhood is going to start appreciating, right? I don't have a fucking crystal ball. Anybody that's guaranteeing appreciation to you is wrong. Nobody can do that. Not even Warren Buffett. Maybe Warren Buffett. I don't know. But nobody else should be doing that, okay? What we do instead, though, is we speculate. We make speculations, educated guesses, right? That's a fancy way of saying educated guesses, right? But my educated guess, I'm taking data, I'm taking things we've already seen, and I'm taking information that I have, very big information, such as over a billion dollars of investment, corporate investment going into certain neighborhoods. Let's break all that down, plus how you could structure this deal in the most profitable way right after this. Hey Steve, what are you doing? Oh nothing, just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my Steve, take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's get into the meat of where my favorite places to invest are as well as this particular property, right? This bad boy right here might not look like much, but it's much, okay? It's beautiful, right? Because it's a four-unit apartment building, folks. Four-unit apartment building, right? It does not look super-duper fly, okay? Uh, we have two uh, tenants currently living there, as well as two tenants that have been signed up to leases and are in the process of moving in. All of this has been done by the seller. Uh, I am not the seller. I am not the property manager, right? I work for you guys. I work for investors to give you my take. But even though the thing doesn't look super duper beautiful, it is because I love it. I love the location and I love the type of the property that it is. Okay, this is a four unit apartment building. First and foremost, I believe four-unit apartment buildings are the best investment for investors because it's the best way to maximize your residential mortgages. Residential mortgages are way better than commercial mortgages, right? The terms are much more uh, investor-friendly, so to speak, right? 30 years, fixed interest, 25% down, low interest, right? Commercial mortgages, they're a whole mess, okay? Usually five-year terms, essentially, but there's a 30-year call. So by the time you do your five-year uh, refi, you've paid literally nothing but interest. It's a whole mess, right? So I love this property based on the fact that it is a four-unit. But more importantly than that, the address, it's 8415 Detroit, Cleveland, 44102. This is pretty close to the heart of the action, right? This is where the good stuff is, okay? I talk about a lot of stuff on this show, a lot of places I like to invest, a lot of neighborhoods I like to invest. Why do I like the neighborhood that this house is in? Well, it's very, very close to Metro Health, right? It's very, very close to gentrification. Those are very important things, right? Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square, 
downtown the lake, right? All that's north of this, right? Those are the areas in Cleveland that have gentrified, okay? The area where this is, I believe it's one of the next areas to gentrify, right? I mentioned Metro Health. They're investing a billion dollars, be like boy, billion dollars into the area and their campus. In addition to that, I've been talking about that on the show for like quite a while. But in addition to that, like a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago as I filmed this, uh, the, the Regional Transit Authority, they just committed another huge investment to the area, right? Something like, I think it was either like 45 or $60 million. I'll put links uh, to a ton of articles on both of these investments, right? That's why I like this neighborhood. It's a D-grade neighborhood as I talk to you today. D-grade. There's a lot of D-grade neighborhoods that you could be investing in Cleveland. We got no shortage of D-grade neighborhoods, but this... Where this property is, this is the only D-grade neighborhood that I know of that's seeing that type of commitment, that's seeing literally billions of dollars coming into it. So it's bordering gentrified neighborhoods, number one. Number two, it's got a ton of money coming into it, right? Today, the property, it's priced in such a way uh, to account for the risk involved with running the low-income stuff, right? I just showed you the pictures. doesn't look hot. You ain't rent it to a, like a gentrified tenant base today. No, no, no. You got to stick with your te Section 8 type tenants, right? Long term, right now, before, like not assuming it's gentrified, your rent roll is looking at 650, 750, 750, 850, right? That's for Section 8 tenants because that's what makes the most sense in a degrade neighborhood. Currently, uh, you don't get those rents just yet, though, right? You got to deal with what the sellers currently got in there 550, 6 and a quarter, 6 and a quarter, and 800. And we know two of those are brand new one year leases because those tenants are in the process of moving in, right? So you want to slowly work them up because you don't want to get a turnover. You don't want to create a, an additional turnover. Not in a neighborhood like this. Not right now. It doesn't make any sense. But the price, it's ridiculous 135, okay? If you could buy this at 135, you absolutely should. Uh, that's an insane price for this. Uh, you might not even be able to buy it at 135. You should probably spend more. I'm going to run the numbers on 135, but I would say it's up to you to see how much above that you want to go because I can't guarantee you you'll pick it up at 135 because at 135, one thing I know for sure is the sellers have guaranteed themselves a bidding war because, it's, like I said, it's a hot neighborhood. There's a lot going on. Makes sense from a cash flow perspective right now. Look. 3000 right, is what our market rents could be. Approximately 1621 in market costs, assuming fixed and variable expense estimates per usual standard operating procedure in a D-grade neighborhood like this is. Which, by the way, uh, if, if you're confused or this is the first time you've ever watched one of my shows and you're not familiar when I say things like D-grade neighborhood, uh, in, in the show notes below, and it's also available on the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com, I will link to something called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I wrote that. It's a big article. I wrote it like six years ago. I update it frequently. Uh, I graded every neighborhood in the whole greater Cleveland market on an A to F scale. A, low risk, high cost. That's where the wealthy people live. F, highest risk, lowest cost. That's where the lowest of incomes live, right? Everything in between. Okay, I graded it all so you guys out there who are in other states can get a measure, get a feel for the type of neighborhood you're dealing with, right? So that's what I mean when I refer to F-class neighborhood, D-class neighborhood, CB. It's all in there. Check it out. Show notes below, HoltonWise.com, Tools and Resources tab. But, again, back to the numbers. If we're lucky enough to pick it up at 135, you put down 33,750. Bank kicks in 101 because I love quads. I love the way to finance quads. They're banging deals. That would project out to a long-term cash-on-cash return of approximately 43%, assuming we can get those tenants up to current Section 8 market rents without additional turnovers. Obviously, if you have to do turnover costs, that's, of course, going to be costs, but I did calculate uh, for those types of costs in your long-term projections, right? That's where you see your repairs, your maintenance, your CapEx, things of that nature. The reason you want to go Section 8 when it's degraded is because they reduce your turnovers, which greatly reduces, A, uh, your vacancy, right, number one. Number two, greatly reduces your repair costs because the majority of your repairs are going to happen at turnovers. Now, as for the gentrification and stuff, that's just icing on the cake. Cleveland is not historically a market you choose to invest in should you be looking for gentrification. You know, that's it's not like California or anything of that nature, right? It's not in the Sun Belt. It's in the Rust Belt. Totally different ballgame. But if I'm hoping to get cash flow, and possibly some bonus appreciation, I'm going to do so in a neighborhood 
where it's currently low income, but it's bordering all the gentrified neighborhoods, and then everybody else just committed a fucking billion dollars to it, baby. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.